Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and one of the prettiest and elegant looking Linux distro, Elementary OS is back with Elementary 5.1, the latest point release codenamed Hera. But this is not your typical point release. Elementary has introduced a lot of major changes and improvements to the distro with this latest version which includes many cosmetic improvements to its popular Pantheon desktop as well. So in today's video, we'll check out all those changes, all the new features and updates introduced with Elementary 5.1. Alright now last month I made a video on elementary OS covering all the monthly updates to Juno since it's released in last October and majority of stuff that I covered in that video is actually what's new in 5.1. So if you have watched that video you may find this a little repetitive but that's because elementary 5.1 is basically elementary 5 plus 12 months of updates put together barring a few new changes that we'll cover in this video. However, for the sake of completion, I will be going through all the new changes in Elementary 5.1. Also a quick shout out to the Elementary team for providing me a copy of Elementary 5.1 before its scheduled release so that I can test and then share my views with all of you on time right on the day of the release. So thank you, I really appreciate this gesture. Alright, so now let's start today's video. Now viewers of my channel knows that I am a huge fan of clean and modern desktop and for that reason Elementary has always been one of my favorite Linux distro. The design of Elementary's Pantheon desktop sure resembles to Mac OS and in its initial years definitely took some inspiration from Mac but over the years it has gradually built on its initial design improving it with every new release and now I think in terms of look I use Mac OS as well. Elementary desktop looks much better, cleaner and modern than Mac OS. The overall design of Mac OS hasn't really changed since past 7 to 8 years. And it's not just about the desktop. The clean theme, bright color scheme and font is shared across app and has sort of created this elementary signature design which is easily recognizable and gives you a seamless user experience. So if you're a fan of beautiful desktops, you cannot afford to miss this Linux distro. Alright now coming to the changes, the first change that you notice is the new login screen which is called greeter screen. It now has a fresh new design where you have a sort of card like design for each user for entering password. Looking at the monthly blog when this was introduced as monthly update to elementary Juno where the inspiration behind the new greeter screen was mentioned in detail. I was expecting that we'll get notification and music control on the lock screen with this point release but that's not yet added so little disappointed but that's okay. Now the other new change is the new onboarding app which is a welcome app that gives you introduction to the desktop and also lets you do initial customization to the desktop by changing few desktop settings. So this is the new desktop. The default wallpaper has been changed and there are three new wallpapers added with this release. This last one is my personal favorite. Also let's start with the changes to the desktop first. The date and time indicator at the center of the top panel now have an updated menu window with a dot for each calendar events and reminders. When you click on the date, the corresponding reminder shows on the right pane. You can also give different colors to the different calendar events. The right corner of the panel also got few updates. Now there's a new separate icon to indicate wired connection. So you now have different indicator icon for both wired and wireless connection. The Bluetooth menu now shows you appropriate icons for each device based on the type of device connected. Now one viewer of my last video on elementary Juno updates where I discussed this Bluetooth change has asked if this new Bluetooth setting also shows the battery percentage for the device. The answer is no, there's no indication for the battery percentage. Alright, next you have subtle cosmetic improvements to the logout menu. Alright, now let's talk about files, the file manager of elementary OS. Now there are some under the hood improvements making the file manager faster and more responsive. The thumbnails for images with alpha channel or transparent background are now displayed with checkered background for easy identification. There's also support for cloud providers to sync files from file manager directly to your cloud storage services like Nextcloud. Next, let's go to the app store. Now, one of the biggest changes introduced with elementary 5.1 is side loading of Flatpak apps. Now, Flatpak applications can be installed from app store or you can get directly from Flathub website and run the installer using side load. 
Now apps that are available from multiple providers on App Store have a new drop down menu for you to choose your preferred provider. There are also three new categories that have been added in the home screen of App Store. Now one issue here which I think needs to be fixed is the search results for apps. Now whenever I try to search for an app, let's say I want to search for Visual Studio Code, I never see the appropriate app on the top of the search result. Even if I type the exact name of the app, I need to scroll down to look for the app and that's a little annoying at times and create some ambiguity regarding availability of the app in the repo. I hope they fix this soon. The other thing that I do not like about Elementary is their default web browser, Epiphany. It's quite heavy, it's memory hungry and if you open five tabs it gets super slow and i don't know if it's about the under the hood technology but it doesn't load some web elements properly for example in whatsapp web login page the qr code never loads however this page works perfectly fine in chromium all right next let's check out the settings app now one of the much awaited feature the dark mode for desktop which i personally was expecting to see with this release still did not made to the desktop so a little disappointed however there are some apps which have started including dark mode feature for example the google cloud storage app v drive the screen recorder the wallpaper app fondo the iot managing app home and many other apps have a dark mode switch and it looks really nice i love this implementation it's very clean and minimal and goes with the signature design of elementary we have seen many implementation of dark mode on different distros but i feel this is the perfect design I just hope to get similar dark mode switch for the entire desktop. Alright moving on, mouse and touchpad window has been revamped. Now instead of tabs for mouse and touchpad settings, you now have two new categories, behavior and devices, which are shown on the left pane with corresponding setting on the right window. The reveal pointer option when turned on highlights the pointer every time you press the control key which is useful for large displays. The settings for mouse and touchpad is under the devices category. The other great feature of elementary desktop is the security and privacy settings. You can delete not only the browser history but also history of various installed apps as well. The housekeeping app allows you to automatically delete temporary files and files in trash after specified number of days. The access to location can be enabled or disabled for each app using location services. Again, I love how all the options are well presented in a clean and simple manner. There's just no room for ambiguity here. You know what you're doing when you turn on or off a particular setting, which is something that is not always true in case of other popular distros. Also, the other thing that I like about elementary is that they keep the things minimal. Many distro try to add too many stuff and options that you get overwhelmed and then decide not to bother which actually defeat the purpose. Next there are subtle changes to the date and time and power options. Also that was all the major changes. There are tons of minor improvements and updates. You can check out the release blog page of elementary 5.1 for more detailed information. It's a major new release with tons of improvements, especially if you're coming from last year Juno with no monthly updates. If you are on elementary 5 and want to upgrade to elementary 5.1, you don't need to do a fresh install. Elementary follows a rolling release model. So all you have to do is to install the updates from App Center and that will upgrade your system to the latest version. So it's pretty simple. And if you're new to Linux and a fan of clean and elegant looking desktop, Elementary is the best choice for you. The recommended hardware requirement to run Elementary OS 5.1 is as follows. Alright, so that was all for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, please type that in, in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. Alright, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.